While you're digitizing, you want to turn snapping on. So here I have an example. I'm digitizing polygons. And snapping allows you to be a little bit more efficient in your digitizing because it creates a sticky end in your digitizing cursor and it will pull or as if there was a magnet on the end to features that you're intending to hit. So here I have a set of polygons and let's just say that I only want de to define where these polygons join at corners. So I'm going to put a vertex on digitizing a polygon where the next polygon is going to join it. So I have good clean joins along the edges. It keeps me from having gaps or slivers, especially if I use this autocomplete feature here. So I can turn my snapping on up here in the snapping tools in the edit toolbar and I have to set a snapping tolerance and the kind of snapping. So this is snapping to point features or snapping to the endpoints of lines, but I want to snap to vertices on lines or polygons in this case. And I'll set then my snapping distance or snapping tolerance they call it in this case, map units instead of pixels. Map units is clear because this is a meter map domain and, and coordinate system. And I'm setting it really big, 30 meters. Yours will be sub-meter, I would guess, because you're doing much finer digitizing than I am here in this example. And then you can see then that if I'm going to digitize, it only allows me to put the points when I'm close here at the existing vertex. If I move away from it or try and go somewhere else along the edge, it doesn't work. But as soon as I get close enough, it puts the point in. So I can just go here and start and then digitize the rest. And then as I get close to my finishing point, I can be out here. And then as I get close to my finishing point, it sucks it into that point and I click to finish. So snapping snaps automatically and lets me find the ends more clearly and I can another way I can control how the digitizing occurs of course then save my edits and off I go so you can use this snapping then when you're trying to split or trying to cut but especially when you're creating new features and it really will help you control how you digitize to get better less error prone features out of your original digitizing